Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am continuing LCM and HCF. In the last session, I have explained a few methods of LCM and HCF that is long division method as well as factorization method. Now, in this session, I am going to discussing about uh, what are the various models of problems uh, in LCM as well as uh, HCF. First, we will start with uh, LCM. See, in LCM as well as HCF, basically we have three models of problems. Uh, first one is, first one is same reminder. First one is same reminder. The problems related to same reminder. And the second one is problems related to different reminders. Problems related to different reminders. That is the second model. And the third model is based on number of digits. Based on number of digits. These are the three models uh, which are there in LCM as well as uh, HCF. LCM and HCF. First, I will explain one by one. LCM first model, second model, third, third model, followed by HCF first model, second model and third model. Now, we will start with the LCM first model. LCM first model, which is nothing but a same reminder. Same reminder, right? See here, in first model, the formation of uh, that particular question is uh, the least number the least number which when divided by which when divided by the least number which when divided by let us take the numbers are x y z let us take the numbers are x y z so as to leave the so as to leave the same reminder so as to leave the same reminder are in each case this is the formation of that particular question here the first model in lcm is the least number which when divided by all these numbers so here three numbers are given sometimes four numbers five numbers six numbers will also be given based on the question which is nothing but uh, here these are the given numbers and uh, in each and every case the remainder is the uh, same remainder which is uh, r in that case our required number is in that case our required number is uh, lcm of given numbers x y z here the given numbers are x y z and uh, if that particular number is uh, exactly divisible by x y z your answer is lcm of x y z but uh, if you want the remainder r in each case, if you want the remainder r in each case, then whatever the remainder which is given in the problem, you need to add that remainder also. That is our required number. Whenever the least number, if you want to calculate the least number, uh, when the remainder is same remainder. Then your required number is uh, LCM of given numbers plus whatever the remainder which is mentioned in the given problem. Whatever the remainder is mentioned in the given problem that you need to write down over here. This is the uh, LCM first model. LCM first model is uh, same remainder. This is the required uh, number you need to remember. LCM of given numbers plus remainder. Next. Second model. What is second model? Different remainders. Second model is different uh, remainders. Here in this case, as the name itself indicates that uh, we have uh, different remainders. Uh, let us take uh, the formation of that particular sentence is least number. What is the least number? Which one divided by? What is the least number? Which one? divided by let us take the same numbers x y z while dividing with x y z uh, leaves the remainders leaves the remainders here the remainders are not same in each and every case uh, while dividing with x let us take the remainder r1 r2 and uh, r3 
respectively. These are the remainders which when divided by, while dividing with x, remainder is r1, while dividing with y, remainder is r2, and while dividing with z, remainder is r3. So, in that case, uh, our required number is, in that case, our required number is uh, LCM of given numbers. Here the given numbers are again x, y, z. Suppose, for example, if more than three numbers are uh, mentioned in the given problem, you need to write all the numbers. You need to take the LCM of the given numbers which are mentioned in the problem. And you need to subtract the common difference uh, from this LCM. You need to subtract what? Common difference. Now, we have a question. We know how to calculate the LCM. We know how to calculate the LCM of given numbers but we don't know how we are getting this common difference that is very simple common difference is equal to common difference given number minus its respective remainder that will gives the common difference x minus r1 or y minus r2 or else z minus r3 here the common difference of each and every value must be equal. 99.9% .9 of the cases, common difference values are equal. Rare case 0.001% that is a rare case. In case, uh, while you are getting the problem related to different remainders, first you just check it out the common difference. Whether the common difference are equal or not equal. X minus R1 value and Y minus R2 value and Z minus R3 value. Each and every value must be equal. Each and every value must be equal. Then only you have to go with this method. Or otherwise, if common difference values are not equal, you have to solve these kind of problems based on option verification method. Based on option verification method. There is no other alternative. So, 99.9% .9 our required answer common difference values are equal. Worst case, if the common difference values are not equal, you just uh, go with option verification method. So, for different remainders, our required number is LCM of given numbers minus uh, common difference. That is our required number. Let's move on to the third model of uh, LCM. Third model of LCM. That is based on Number of digits. Third model. Based on number of digits. Here the formation of a question is uh, what is the least number of n digits? Least number of n digit. Sorry. Least n digit number. What is the least uh, n digit number? Least n digit number. Which is exactly divisible by which is exactly divisible by x y z x y z is nothing but these are the given numbers as we are talking about least n digit number suppose for example he may mention for least four digit number what is the least four digit number which is exactly divisible by all these numbers we need to find the least uh, four digit number which is exactly divisible by all these numbers and uh, if you want to calculate least uh, five digit number in that case you need to calculate five digit number so for these kind of problems our required answer is whenever the problem related to based on number of digits our required answer is uh, first take least uh, n digit number least n digit number here as we are uh, as if, if if at all we are talking about four digit number you need to take uh, in place of least n digit that is thousand why because least four digit number is thousand whereas least five digit number is uh, ten thousand least uh, six digit number is one lakh based on that you need to take and after that you need to add the lcm of given numbers you need to add lcm of given numbers minus uh, remainder minus remainder here 
this is our required number this is our required number if uh, the problem is uh, based on number of digits uh, this is completely third model based on number of digits uh, least n digit number that you can easily calculate and the lcm also you know how to calculate right now we have a question that how do we get this uh, remainder this is very important thing here how we are getting this particular remainder is divide least n digit number divide least n digit number here you need to take least n digit number divide least n digit number with the lcm so that definitely you will get something remainder over here this remainder value will be substituted here this is how you are calculating the remainder here you need to subtract the remainder from this lcm lcm is nothing but that is the divisor value divisor minus its respect to remainder while dividing with this uh, while dividing this least n digit number with lcm you will get something remainder value that remainder value will be subtracted from this uh, number so whenever the problem is based on number of digits uh, your required answer is least n digit number plus lcm minus remainder how do get how do we get this remainder by dividing least 10 digit number with lcm whatever the remainder you will get that remainder you need to subtract and sometimes there is a combination of third model and first model what is first model same remainder and third model is based on number of digits up to third model there is no change as like it is right but if at all it is a combination of this concept is exactly divisible by x y z in case of which one divided by he is saying that which one divided by x y z leaves the same remainder in each case in that case you need to add the remainder which is mentioned in the problem here this r1 indicates the remainder which is mentioned in the given problem here this is a combination of 3 and 1 here this is only for 3 only for 3 if at all the combination of 3 and 1 is asked you need to calculate all these values and after that you need to add the remainder which is given in the problem sometimes there is a chance of asking 3 and 2 combinations 3 combination is same as like this one least 10 digit number plus lcm minus remainder after that for different remainders you need to subtract the common difference that's it that is the only change only additional changes you need to do is a plus remainder that is for 3 and 1 combination minus common difference for 3 and 2 combination these are the three models are there in lcm uh, lcm and in the next session we are going to discuss about uh, three models in HCF thank you i hope you enjoyed the session